Hey y'all, this is Miss Ruth from Georgia College's Academic Outreach and welcome to PBIS Day. Today we are going to take you on a hike. Since you couldn't actually be with us, we've taken, um, we took some video out at Lake Laurel and me and Andrea and Alexia and Michelle and Haley all went out and hiked the trail and we found some really cool things that we really want to share with you. So we've um, done a video of the highlights of our trail. So we hope you enjoy it. Okay, y'all, this is Lake Laurel. We're going to do a quick little pan around so you can see the actual lake. And we're going to be, and it's right at, the sun's just starting to rise, y'all. It's beautiful out here. And we're going to be going on the trail, which is going to be heading in this direction. So we'll be coming around this side of the lake. Hey everyone, I'm Andrea and I'm so excited to do this scavenger hunt with you guys. Hey, my name is Alexi. I'm going to be with you on this scavenger hunt today too. Lots of fun. Hey guys, I'm Michelle and I'm also going to be on this scavenger hunt with y'all. Hey, I'm Haley and I'm also going to be on a scavenger hunt with y'all. All right, y'all. We are at the beginning of the trail and we're going to be going down this way into the woods. So this is lichen, and lichen comes in three different types. We got crustose, which is this, where it looks real flat. And it is actually two different creatures that live together. It's a symbiosis of algae and fungus. So they're living together. And then this up here where it's kind of sticking up, this is called um, folios. So it looks kind of like a plant that we were looking at can grow not only out in nature, it can grow on all kinds of weird stuff. Like here we got some growing on a piece of rope, which is really weird. And we got some little tiny pieces of moss. Hopefully we'll see some more of that once we enter the woods. And here's some growing on the side of this brick right there and right there, which is pretty cool. So the leaves are just starting to change color because of um, the time of year that it is. So we're starting to get to autumn. Oh, and Haley just found a beautiful leaf with a lot of different colors and that leaf has a really cool shape it's shaped kind of like a star and oh and it does if you look at the edges of it they're kind of rough feeling so that's a serrated edge right there so that's kind of like a, a steak knife so that's cool wow what'd you find michelle uh, isn't that a type of fungus it is. This is called turkey tail fungus because it looks kind of like a turkey's tail, oh, which is cool. kind of cool right now too because it's going to be Thanksgiving soon. Yeah. So turkey tail fungus and it's growing on this dead stick. Awesome. So fungus mushrooms are decomposers. So they break down, break down things back into soil. This is sphagnum moss that sticks out right here. And there's some more lichen, some of the crustose lichen. Oh, and you'll find lichen growing on trees, more of the crustose. And then here's some of the fruticose. It kind of sticks out a lot. Like some of it will look like a plant, but this one looks like a little tiny tree. Here's some dead trees with a whole lot of little tiny mushrooms growing on them. Look at that! Oh, oh, look at that! Oh, no. oh. Yeah, don't stick your hand in a hole. Look at this, though. Ooh, what is some worms? I thought they were worms. Oh. If we look closely, they've got. Where did you find them? At? They were right there. Oh. These are little millipedes. And they're little decomposers too. I'll put them next to that really cool mushroom. Mm -hmm. And there's another heart-shaped leaf. Oh, and here's some flowers. Like some stress. 
Ooh. Whoa, that's really cool. That's a funnel spider of some sort. Oh. Uh, ooh! <laughs> you know what? That might be old poop. Ooh. It is. It's poop of some sort that's starting to... It's got a fungus growing on it. And there's a burrow of something. <laughs> there's that tree with a bunch of... Oh, wow. That does have bunches. Whoa, all the way down. And there's some freshly chewed trees down there. Oh yeah, that's a leaf that's been eaten by something. And its edges are smooth. Oh, and here's one. Nope, that's not a good one. But this one is. That's got three lobes from a maple tree. So that means there's a maple tree right there. It's three lobed leaves. One, two, three. Oh wow, that's a perfect long skinny leaf. Awesome. There's some more poop, isn't it? Oh wow. So it's got those seeds are, um, oh, what are they? Those are persimmon seeds. Is that poop? It is. It might be raccoon. Looks like it was just eating plants. Might be deer. I don't know. You can tell a lot by looking at poop. <laughs> Got long legs. Oh, it's a granddaddy long leg. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Little harvestman. Oh, I hear a bird chirping. Are these seeds? Yep. And there's some seeds. This is where all the ticks and chiggers are, right there. Mm. There and there. And the little seeds. That looks like a little home. Well, it does. Looks like it got chewed up by a bird. Is that a, what is that? Isn't that kind of like a little worm thing? Reach your hand in there and get it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You can get it with a stick. <clears throat> Oops, sorry. Just kidding. What is that? Oh, it was a egg case of something. It's like a shell almost. But mm -hmm. It was probably a... Oh! It was a... Some kind of caterpillar. And then it hatched out probably into some kind of moth. Oh, it's a hickory nut. It's the outer shell of a hickory nut. That's cool. Yeah. Just like the other pieces of the And here's the, the inside part. Mm. And a squirrel like probably an ate that. Oh, and smell it. You can smell it through your... Mm. It smells real peppery. Yeah. There's a red mushroom. Oh, looks like something ate it. Squirrels like to eat that too. Oh, perfect. Wait, isn't that the same thing as earlier? Oh, look, Ooh. there's a caterpillar. Wow. And this is Smilax with the thorns and a three-lobed leaf. Hmm. And it kind of looks like a triangle. Oh, and there's another heart-shaped leaf. Those are beautiful. And they've been eaten by a bug. Oh, oh, there's a purple mushroom. 
That's awesome. There's a, there it is, just starting to bud. What'd you find? That beaver thing? Where the... Oh yeah, where the beaver chewed down the tree. That's really cool. Look at it. Right there. Oh wow, I didn't even see that. One. And there. Man, you can see all his teeth marks. Oh, I love this trail. And there's some woodpecker places. Some seeds. If you open it up. There's a little seed inside of it. Those are some kind of asters. Different kind of aster. Oh, wow. oh, he's so cool! This one's a boy. It is. It's I think. Right eyes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's hissing at me. Oh, look his shell thing. That's so cool. So this is a box turtle, and they're called box turtles because they have a hinge right here. So they can completely close up their shell, so I can't get to them at all. That's so cool. You can see his little eyes. Oh man, that's I'm awesome. Right here. What kind of tree is that? It's really pretty. It's a maple of some sort. It's got lots of lichen on it. Oh, there's a seed that got eaten by a squirrel. A pine cone, lots of pine cones. Here's some bark, and here's some different bark on that one. Oh, wow! That's a heron. Wow. This one's oval. Yeah, well, that's a good one. Oh, that one is good too. Yeah. Goodbye, Mr. Turtle. Oh, that's some good bark. Feels cool. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's shaped like a square. again hope you enjoyed that video of our of our hike and we hope that you saw a lot of cool things while we were out there now we have a challenge for you so we went out looking for lots of cool things outside and we want you to do the same thing so we've made up a little scavenger hunt sheet front and back we want you to grab a crayon or a pencil or something and take this sheet outside and see what you can find. Now, if you, you may find some things that aren't on the list, that's even better. Um, if you find some things that aren't on the list, you're welcome to add them along to the sides, draw pictures, um, you can do rubbings of things. So a rubbing is where you would take like this right here, has something about a piece of bark. So you could take this, lean it up against the tree and rub your crayon around it and see what kind of textures show up. So lots of cool things to look for, and hopefully you'll find a lot of these things out on either the campus of Midway Hills or at your house. Thanks so much. Bye y'all, good luck.